Okay, today we have a uh, Sony Pro 13. It has a very noisy fan that is uh, going out. And this is a Pro 13 Ultrabook. A nice little thin, thin Ultrabook. Um, and we are going to replace the fan in here. And this fan is, uh, I went out on the internet and found a uh, replacement just out on eBay, a little Panasonic. And you can buy the fan separately, but uh, I didn't want to try to mount the fan to the heat sink. So uh, it looked uh, a little bit tough. So I just bought the whole assembly. It's about $50, 48 I think. And got here in a couple days. I'm gonna piece of tape off of here. And there's still a uh, memory card inside. I wanna eject it. Here we go. And uh, so the first thing you do is, I've already removed it, but uh, there's a rubber um, strip on the front end of the notebook. Just pull it up and underneath that you'll find seven screws. And I've actually already removed those. And then on the back side, there's two feet. One uh, set of feet here and one set of feet here. And uh, underneath those feet are two screws a piece. There's one, two, three, four. And then right in the center where the docking connector is, or maybe it's the spare battery connector, there's a single screw. So you got two, two, one, seven. You're done. That's all the screws there are. And uh, like I say, I've popped those out. And then there's sort of detent uh, clips inside, apparently. And what we want to do is just pop those up. And you use your finger. You may gently use a flat blade screwdriver. And be sure you pop up on the non-connector side of the notebook, so meaning you only have the power here. Pop up here first, and I'll show you why in a minute. The connector side needs to be handled a little differently. Sony's done a pretty good job with this notebook. Um, you don't have to remove the keyboard and all that mess to get to the, um, the fan. And you'll also see under here, I'm sure, the uh, memory modules and so forth. But anyway, let's get this up and go gentle. Don't uh, force it. Don't want to break and have to buy something else. This is coming up pretty nicely. Okay. And uh, to be honest, I have had this case off before, so you may find it more tough the first time you do it. It was more tough for me. It was really grabbing tight. But slowly pop it up, a little bit of screwdriver action if you need. And then that's it. You're off. Okay. So first piece done. Here is the fan that's been making all the noise. Very quiet now. Um, and then and get my little multi-tip screwdriver here. Um, we have the, uh, here they're using Elpida RAM that's fixed, soldered down. You have a six centimeter on the 60s uh, flash memory drives. Now this one's a 256 gig, so it's a little bit bigger than normal. And the uh, add-on memory, all the connectors, Wi-Fi module, and then here's the whole battery. It's uh, across the whole bottom. You see it's a 4740 milliamp hour, 36 watt hour battery. Oddly, it's a 7.5 volt. I expected a little higher, but. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is pull this fan out. And so to uh, pull the fan, which I have not done yet, uh, I'm gonna take a peek at the one that showed up here. And as you can see, it has, and it's flipped over this way, so it's gonna go like this, right? So if we look at this one, we'll see we have uh, screws. Get my screws out of the way here. Um, we have screws here, here, and then these come with built-in screws, three, uh, and then here. So maybe three is all I need to pop. Uh, we will see here in a minute. This one looks like it's dual with the battery. So we'll do that one first. 
These look like a little different, little uh, maybe bigger screw than the others. This looks like the second one. I'm going to go grab tweezers and come back. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can pop that off of there. There's the bigger one. Okay. Let's, uh, okay, there is the uh, bad one coming out. I'm going to verify the part numbers, but it looks just absolutely the same. And... Yeah, all right, one DFO. We have absolutely the right part. And lay this down here. That's the new one. Put the old one, well, let's say aside. And then um, we're going to slide that new one in. But before we do that, we have thermal grease. A little pack of thermal grease. It's actually shipped with the fan. Which that was kind of handy. I didn't have to dig into my own stock. And there actually is thermal grease already on there, which um, I may want to remove. Okay. And then I'm going to wipe that thermal grease off of there and get some new going. Okay. And Let's pop the new stuff in. I'm going to put a little bit on the fan itself. Okay, there is uh, probably enough thermal grease. So now I'm going to flip this over. The trick is going to be getting this um, part of the bezel with the screw hole back looped under where it should be. But let's give it a shot. Now, roughly get these in line in place. And then hold up my little capacitor. And then I'm gonna slip this under. So slide it in, I think we got there. All right. Then let's go ahead and connect our wires, make sure they're fitting correctly. There we go. Slid in well. Um, I will go ahead and bolt this down and then uh, screw it down. And then I will verify the fan electrically is connected correctly. Uh, let's go ahead and screw some of these in. Let's try that again. Okay. Jeez, that thing is not working at all. Okay, anyway, let's try to turn it on. Okay, comes on. And let's see if the fan will pop up. There we go, fan came on, looking good. Okay, I'm gonna power that off. Shut this lid again. So now we're gonna put the cover on, and uh, here's the cover. And so the trick here with the connectors is you gotta go over the edge and then pull it back a little bit. Okay, so you don't wanna go straight up straight down. So we're going to go over the edge and one of the connectors is a little bit of a pain and that's going to be the audio connector. Let's see if we can get on there. Okay. So what I did was hooked it over all of them, right? Just let me pop it back off so you can see it. All right. 
I'm just going to hook it over the top of all of these connectors with the the um, this bottom bezel. Tilt it up, right? Tilt it. Okay. Hook it in and lay it down. And be careful that you've hooked all of them. Don't leave one outside. Two USB HDMI headphones and SD port. Okay, and then pull it over. Because now on this end, you got to pull it over the power port. So pull it over, power port, and then snap her down. Okay, and it won't snap great into place until you get the screws in, but not bad. Then just start putting the screws back in. So remember, you got two on each of the back feet. Okay, there's the back feet. And then uh, remember, one in the center. And boy, don't drop it down inside. You'll be tearing it back apart to get that screw out. One in the center. Then seven over here. Okay, I think we're set there. Now, for putting all this stuff back together. Um, this one just snaps in. It's got clips. Okay, so that's easy. Uh, the back feet, as he says it's easy and then messes it up. Um, the back feet are a little different. They have a sticky tab. And for right now, I'm going to pretend like the sticky tab actually works twice. The first time and the second time. And if I find that they come loose, I will re-epoxy them. But uh, for right now, and I'm just going to tear off some corner here. I'm going to pretend like these are going to work. Okay, now I know for a fact the front one does not. So, because uh, I've had it off before and it... And what I have here is some jelly style glue, which is what I wanted, something. And I'm just gonna pop a little bead in a few spots. It doesn't need so much. It's not uh, so much pressure on it. And sometime later, you may have to remove it. So you don't want that holding you back later. You'll just be mad at yourself. Okay, lid on that, tighten her up. And Looks like it's working properly. And then let's flip it over and wipe off my dust and flip it on. I'll tell you one thing, anytime you take these apart, the dust just comes out, especially on the keyboard. And it looks like it is working fine. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. I can hear, I can hear the fan and it's so quiet. Excellent. That last one, this previous fan was, oh my goodness. That thing had gotten so loud. My uh, neighbors at work were complaining that this thing was so noisy. So, looks like we got it all fixed. So anyway, Thanks a lot, folks, and uh, that is it. We are done. And on the clock, um, I took 38 minutes to do this, okay? Now, I had cheated that I had had the bottom off before, so I knew what it looked like, but I had never had the fan out and all that. Um, and if I was ready with tweezers and the stuff that you see here, Probably it's a half hour job. So, you know, 38 minutes, not bad. See you later. Bye.